Hey, good morning, crafty friends. I'm coming to you with the design team project today for Saw Crafters. And um, I had actually gotten started on one project and realized I had misplaced a piece. So I had to totally rethink it and that's why I'm late this week. So let me show you what I altered. I altered this wooden 3D wooden birdcage. And as you can see, it comes with this bottom part, which is the stand, and then the birdcage part, and then there's a, a top there. Now, I chose not to use the top, and the really cool thing about that is, I'm going to bring you back over here. The cool thing about not using the top is I still have all these pieces. And what do these pieces look like? a banner so I can use these wooden pieces later all right let me move my sign over and I'm gonna have to pull you back uh, before actually before I show you my project I want to tell you who inspired me and I probably don't even have to tell you who inspired me once you see my project you're probably gonna realize who inspired me because um, I think um, although um, she's a, she's just like the superstar crafter of the universe. Uh, I do think that you'll be able to tell anyway, um, whose style I was creating with inspiration from. I'm going to pull back and that is my project. Now, I'd love to know if you guys can guess, uh, before I even tell you <laughs> um, and yeah this project is you know what I'm gonna open I'm gonna open my shade and see if that gives us a little bit better light let's do that and see yeah I think I'm actually I'm gonna show you the top and then I'm gonna turn that my upper light off um, I had this um, bird nest with the bird and the eggs that I've had. Um, I purchased them at Hobby Lobby, and it was like in the clearance area, and I got it for like buck ninety nine. And I was like, it's so cute. Um, so I've had that, and that's the reason why I decided not to put the top on the the, the bird cage. I knew that I wanted because it was too big to fit inside so I wanted to put it up here and then I had this pretty pretty trim in my stash for quite some time and so I decided to wrap that around the bird nest and I also put it down here on my base um, and that created the color scheme so tons of stuff going on here I've always wondered how Linda and there you go, Linda, Faith Chick 777 she was my inspiration. So thank you, Linda. Um, I think one of your last one or two, maybe three projects um, back, um, you created for Saw Crafters, and I just thought, oh, I want to do that. I want to create like that. So here we go. Um, on the top on my bird nest, I obviously added lots of flowers and berries um, my flowers are Recollection and Wild Orchid Craft. The berries are just from my stash. I buy random uh, berries I find on stems and I cut them up. Um, back in the back here, you can see these are wooden um, leaves. And um, Saw has a collection of these leaves. I, I don't know how many you get, but it, it seemed like it was like 10. Um, and then I just... Um, kind of added some uh, watered down paint um, to give it that that little pop of, of white there. So then my flower cluster, my berries, more flower cluster here and berries. Um, this is a Prima um, Angel Cherub. And then here I have this Remember This and I believe this is uh, uh, why is her name escaping me? You guys know who this is from. Um, and then I added this, well actually in the beginning I added this uh, um, 
I'm losing my train of thought. I'm so, going to go away. Sorry, I got distracted, guys. So let me go back to, um, I think we talked about the top already. And then we get down to this portion, which is inside the birdcage. And, you know, I just did a flower cluster back in there. I added this little um, cherub that I've had in my stash for quite, quite a long time, several years. Um, there is a doily underneath. Another one of the wooden leaves. And more wild orchid craft flowers and berries kind of pouring out of the birdcage. And then here, the birdcage door is open. I have another one of Sawcrafter's um, wooden words that says dream. I added this little cherub I had in my stash to the, to the D. And then um, hanging from the birdcage door, I have this adorable, I mean, so stinking cute little um, um, hot air balloon from Sawcrafter's. And it comes with these little hearts. Um, cut out on the in the middle part and what I did was I just layered some um, little flat back hearts that I had in my stash onto the balloon so cute I love it um, then as we get lower back here and this is what I mean about trying to really um, use inspiration from Linda she only, almost always uses the word noted and I put it on, um, it's one of the Woodwards from Sawcrafters. And then I have this, um, oh, what do they call these things? These little film strip things. Um, I glued it onto there and then onto the base of the birdhouse. Um, and then there's lots more of the flower clusters and the, the wooden leaves. Um, there's a wooden leaf here. And then um, this believe is a recollections bicycle um, more leaves on my flower clusters and doilies um, this beautiful trim I, I don't know where I got it I think I may have gotten it at Hobby Lobby um, and then finally we have this gorgeous gorgeous uh, Roman clock from saw crafters and I did the the paint to it I layered it on a doily um, I put some paper behind it, some pretty paper from um, Kitty Scrap Post, and then another doily here, a few flowers, and then these are Prima Claw cans. And then all of it is resting on this wooden base that I had in my stash that I um, actually purchased as a uh, candle, um, a candle, square candle would sit in this. And there we go. That is my altered bird cage birdhouse. And um, with the inspiration from Linda Faith Chick 777, I just love how it turned out and um, really happy with it. Um, I'm not sure if somebody's interested in this, let me know. Um, if no one comes forward, I'll probably keep it myself. Did I talk, did I even tell you guys about this? This is another one of Sawcrafter's um, wood pieces and these are her street signs and she has them where they have the whole long street sign and then she has them with just the toppers and this one says Dream Street which was perfect because I chose to use the word dream. Oh, glad I noticed that. So um, yeah, if you're interested in this piece, let me know. Um, I am concerned how it would travel because it, it does have a lot of delicate stuff on it. But um, but let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you'll head over to Saw Crafters. I'm not kidding you. Saw has the most amazing, amazing prices on her wood pieces. And you usually get multiples when you um, you place an order. Like, um, like the leaves, like I said, they come in packs of like 10 and the... The, the word noted and, and the little balloons. I think they come in packs where there's several included in each pack. So um, definitely head over there and check it out. Thanks for watching. And I'll have another Sawcrafters project before the end of the week. Have a great day. Happy Memorial Day. Bye.